this um, we've been doing a project for the past 12 18 months with the Arts Council and the Western Front Association to mark the centenary of the First World War um, but coming at it from some different angles and we've been playing shows in unusual venues related to the First World War on, on home shores um, so last week we were down in, in Sussex playing in front of a thing called the Cavell Van which was a railway wagon that brought home uh, the bodies of the three people who were re repatriated only three people were repatriated from the Western Front or from foreign shores the nurse Edith Cavell who, who'd been shot uh, as a traitor by the Germans why a traitor I don't know because she wasn't German but basically for helping Allied servicemen escape into into Holland the other one the body of the unknown warrior who's in Westminster Abbey and the third one a guy called Captain Fryer who was a, a, a cross-channel ferry skipper uh, who joined the First World War decided to ram U-boats for some reason um, and the Germans took great exception to this and tricked him and caught him and shot him so this wagon brought back the three of them now tomorrow we're carrying on this series if anyone here is from uh, the North East we're playing inside the winding room of a pit a former colliery a place called Washington in uh, Tyne and Weir and we're going to play inside the winding room to remember the efforts of the, the people in industry on the home front and the sacrifices of the miners themselves as well um, now this is a song we're going to do you one song from this performance that we've been doing it's a Lancashire song um, some of you might have grown up with it as a skipping song Everyone talks about the First World War and the rush to volunteer. By, in fact, less than a year into the war, everyone had got wise to the carnage that was involved and no one was in a rush to volunteer. This culminated in 1916 in conscription for the first time in, in this country, people forced to fight. But prior to that, the fine chap, Lord Northcliffe, owner of that wholly reliable rag, the Daily Mail. I know, exactly. He was, well, listen, he was getting it wrong even then, a hundred years ago, cos he decided to run this campaign against shirkers. And for some bizarre reason, known only to himself, he chose Charlie Chaplin as the pin-up for this campaign, cos Chaplin had gone to Hollywood and was like, having big success in America and, and Northcliffe and the Daily Mail was saying look at this shirker this is what's wrong with this country get him back of course the rest of the country were all thinking knob we all love Charlie Chaplin so it was yet another example of of how the great tradition of the Daily Mail today the foundations that it was built on even a hundred years ago So, it does go on, it? the song doesn't last anywhere near as long as the, the preamble, believe you me. It's probably not worth the wait either, but that's, that's by the by now. Anyway, in Lancashire, in 1915, everyone from East Lancashire who was in the part-time army, the territorials, was sent to Gallipoli. So the people of Lancashire, in response to the Daily Mail, took a hit song of the day called Red Wing and wrote the following chorus to it. We've written some verses to go with it as well. It was a two fingers up to Lord Northcliffe and the Daily Mail. On Charlie Chaplin, his boots are cracking for the one that blacking, and his old grey coat's in need of mending until they send him to the Dardanelles. And the moon shines bright on a peaceful night, way behind the lines where we. On a quiet night When the world seems alright And we laugh 
laugh and we cry for home. Shines bright on Charlie Chaplin. His boots are cracking for the want of blacking. And his old grey coat's in need of mending until they send him to the Dardanelles. Connie himself has no real hatred of the name of his life. And this German prisoner had a copy of his last play. That was Connie's way. Shines bright on Charlie Chaplin. His boots are cracking for the want of blacking. And his old grey coat's in need of mending until they send him to the Dardanelles. Oh, the moon shines bright on Charlie Chaplin. His boots are cracking for the want of blacking. And his old grey coat's in need of mending. Until they send him to the Dardanelles. Thank you.